Hello, my dear friends, Akerex here again, and uh, with another Not Geo um, uh, article. Where, uh, oh, so hi, hi, John Pickrow. Well, we obviously have to start with int introducing ourselves to the author. Uh, John, I'm, uh, I'm Akerex, and I'm about to drop some corporates on your article. I hope you don't mind, but I'll just grab an umbrella just in case. Um, yeah, so they start with big names, of course. Uh, okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. And uh, wait a minute. W why is it Tyrannosaurus Rex and the others don't have a second name? Why, why, why are we, why are we being uh, uh, discriminative towards the Triceratops and Brachiosaurus? I mean, how is it that they don't deserve to have their names listed? So either score Rex out or put something else here. And why is Rex with a small letter? Why is it lowercase? It should be uppercase as well, please. Or make everyone lowercase. I mean, well, I mean, if you are if you're trying to motivate to go up always, then, you know, to up the game, then make everything uppercase. Like Tyrannosaurus, uppercase, you know, Rex, uppercase, Triceratops, Triceratops, pardon, breaking English language again, Horridus or Prorsus, uppercase, and Brachiosaurus, whatever, uppercase. Um, can't remember that name for it, unfortunately. But yeah, let's 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 d dive into it. It's not going to take long. It's just a few minor things that I want to call out and want people to notice specifically how it's uh, really a lot of just the very typical sort of chap you see uh, get thrown, at, you know, around. And a lot of people unfortunately buy into it. But I don't blame the people. I, I blame those who are in a position of strength, you know, who are more responsible for delivering and they deliver it in a way to make people believe but then of course it's down to people to uh, move those gray matters as well so i guess it's tough to say whose responsibility it really is but i i would probably just start with where the source is first so of course we have some good quotes here that's fine that's all good but then we have this one uh uh, from Brian N. And uh, uh, we will just get back to that in a second why I specifically picked uh, at Brian. So yes, Brian, I'm about to drop some corporates on you. You may want to, you know, get on, you know, under the same umbrella with John just in case. Uh, John, sorry, but uh, yeah, I know it's not your fault. I am, I, I have no problem with you, John. I, I have no problem with you. So yeah, paleo art is difficult and challenging art form requiring a good understanding of anatomy, biology, the ability to render a huge variety of textures and environmental details realistically, as well as depict behavior and ecology in a believable way. Um, uh, yeah, I kind of agree with that, Brian. I, I have nothing, uh, I have no problem with you saying that. That in itself, I mean. But there's a very interesting thing, you see. Um, this uh, this response, this statement that you made here, I and I mean, obviously, I have to take the face value here. Maybe maybe not Geo also misrepresented you, Brian. If that's the case, I'm sorry for what I'm about to say. If that's not the case, then I'm not sorry. Uh, just wanted to clear that out of the way. But yes, I mean, you uh, you're saying that you have to give give it, you know, understanding of anatomy, biology, and uh, give it give it basically realism, right? That's what basically I'm hearing from this statement. So uh, explain to me, Brian, how is, uh, how is that supposed to be realistic? How is this and this supposed to be realistic? How is it that sauropod filaments and some stupid uh, unknown things that are never preserved in any case and uh, are pure speculation supposed to be representative of realistic uh, rendition of the animal? We, we, like, uh, what, what are they, in your opinion? Like, what, what do you do try to make them look like here? I, I, I'm just asking, like, I think I'm asking a very meaningful question here. What, what are you trying to turn them into? Why are they depicted with filaments and these God knows what things? Is there evidence for sauropods having that? Uh, do we not have any sauropod skin preservations that already tell us of how they looked? I think we do. Do we not? I'm pretty sure we do. We have scaly skin impressions. We do. And th that is in no way indicative of anything of this sort. Nor, not that it doesn't mean that it excludes it, but, you know, this is the whole argument of, you know, absence of evidence is not ab evidence of absence. Actually, that's complete bullshit. That is complete bullshit. Um, it's the same thing as saying, yeah, there is no evidence of T-Rexes ever hunting mammoths, so therefore it must be true because there is no evidence of that. Absence of evidence is not evidence of absence, not at all. 
And I can go on and on with this with the, with the endless list of examples. So no, burden of proof is on a positive claim. Negative claims do not require burden of proof. They don't carry that burden of proof. I, 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 I just have to, I will repeat that as many times as I need to until people start actually really understanding it and stop spewing nonsense. So this is why I call out him here, because I find this rather hypocritical to say something like that and then portray completely opposite. There is nothing scientific about that drawing there. That's, that's not polio art, that's just fantasy, Brian. It's a beautifully executed fantasy. It's, it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous landscape. It's an absolute top-notch quality. I, I haven't seen many artists do such a quality rendition of a landscape filled with animals and uh, showing something happening here. Uh, and that's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous, but but it's fantasy. It's not paleo art. Paleo art represents what's factually, empirically based and can be supported by uh, science literature. That's what the job of paleo artist is or supposed to be, not what you know, what is shown here or what is frequently promoted by other more quote-unquote trendy paleo artists who claim to be paleo artists, yet a lot of their pieces are not even paleo art. I'm sorry, Brian, but I, I'm not going to take that. I, I'm not going to take that. I don't buy that. You have to come up with something better. You have to come up with something better. Now, we have some other honor, really nice mentions here. Um, with uh, uh, from um, Beth Zeichen. I'm sorry uh, if I'm uh, mispronouncing uh, the surname, but Beth, uh, I, I'm actually subscribed to you on Instagram and I advise everybody else to do the same from Blue Ryan Studio. They, they, they are absolutely gorgeous. I will do a separate video on Blue Ryan Studios actually if you want me to. I, I absolutely love and on Beth as well. Beth, uh, hi Beth, by the way. I make your accent. You don't need an umbrella, Beth, but you might want to get one just in case there are some, you know, corporates that are gonna bounce off the umbrellas of, you know, uh, Brian and John, just in case. But I, I, I'd say you, you're quite safe. Um, I, I'd say you're quite safe. So, um, well, there's more stuff from Brian that I wanted to uh, kind of refer to, because th this is really interesting, like how they say N is uh, favors... Um, by the way, uh, Brian, uh, I will be fair here. I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your surname as well, uh, because I'm really bad with names. Just because I'm criticizing what you're saying here doesn't mean uh, I uh, have anything personal against you. Like I said, it's not, guys, just just like really, really make sure you understand this, yeah? Um, it's not personal. It's nothing personal. It's strictly business, okay? Strictly business. And pleasure, but nothing personal. Business and pleasure only, okay? Um, so... Um, yeah, Eng favors uh, investigating fossils firsthand and discussing uh, the creature's key features with experts researching it. So um, um, I, I want to say uh, which uh, key features and fossils have you found when you were investigating them, Brian, that show this. Like, could you, could you point me to this, please? And uh, uh, which experts exactly, quote-unquote, have you consulted with on this as well? I, I, I have my suspicions, but I kind of want to give you the benefit of the doubt. So let's come back again and see what else is here. So um, we talk about, that's a quote from Brian, I presume. Yes, it is from him. So uh, we, we talk about where and when the creature lived, how it goes, how it got its meals, mates, and shelter, um, how it avoided becoming a meal or failed to avoid becoming a meal and what it was related to, uh, he says. These discussions lead us to look at modern animals, their anatomy, and their environments, and we drew, draw specific visual, and, oh, okay, I see where this is going, I see where this is going. So, um, I'll tell you what, there, I don't see a problem to look at behavioral analogs to a degree. Um, what I have a problem is when you start interpreting these, uh, these analogs too far, and... Uh, starting to implement them into something like this. That's where I have a problem. I have no problem with animals moving in herds because generally it's a consistent thing for a variety of, uh, you know, vertebrate animals to move around and live in herds. There is an evolutionary drive behind it and it's, uh, there's plenty of evidence for it. There are many good analogs, like I said, which can be drawn from this, but I, I, I'm sorry that I'm not sorry, but Brian, you're you're saying one thing 
and you're doing completely opposite in regards to researching science because I, I don't know of any science that actually positively identifies this on a Brachiosaurus or any sauropod for that matter. I, I don't know of any science. Maybe you should point me to some. Maybe you should point me to some. If, you, if there is something, I will cover it. I, I promise. I just don't know of any. That's the thing. I, I, I haven't heard of any. And every time I asked, I was always met with a lot of skepticism and always people from the field always go, oh my goodness, good grief, you know, like those kind of reactions. I don't get any reactions of, yes, we have that, true. I don't get that. Anyway, let's get back to it. So, well, we have more uh, good quotes here. I would, say, I would just say I'll, I'll link the article below and you can read it, the rest of it. There are some good quotes from Zyken uh, and uh, I... Definitely, we'll do a video for her separately, so we will get to that. At, 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 yeah, breaking English language again, goddammit. But we'll get back to that. That's what I was meant to say. That's what I was meant to say. But, yeah, uh, sorry, John, I, uh, but I had to throw some coprolets here. I, I hope you can forgive me for this. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings in case they got hurt. I am. I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings here, because I know, you know, it's it's the most precious thing in the world. We never do that on purpose. Like I said, it's a, it's 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 purely business and pleasure, uh, but n but nothing personal though. I, I just can't deny the pleasure though because I, I like looking at these things. I think it's important that people would like to have productive discussions about it and actually be not be afraid to issue constructive criticism and respond to it with actual arguments. And my argument is that there is no evidence for this, and yet. Uh, it's being presented as if it's a poly award that represents a realistic landscape. I, I, I don't I don't have a uh, I, I'm sorry that I'm not sorry, but no, no, I, I, I neglect that completely. I reject that. I reject that personally. If you if you want uh, if you want to know who genuinely accepts this, you, you feel free to go and ask around, but I I will not accept this. I, I can't, I can't. I, I cannot basically uh, validate the intellect the amount of intellectual dishonesty I'm, I've I heard from uh, that, considering that you know it's a person with a large amount of influence out there to younger people who are you know being inspired by this, and then they go around and just completely without having been fact checked at all, they just go around and spew this nonsense like it's a like it's a common thing. Sorry, but no can do. In any case, I will see you guys later. Thanks very much. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, share and leave your comments below if you have anything else to share about it. And let me know if you want me to do both the videos on uh, um, on uh, Ben Zyken and uh, on uh, more National Geographic articles. Although I definitely think we will be looking at more National Geographic articles in the future. But if there's a specific one that you find interesting, and if I find that it's, there's good material to cover for it, uh, definitely we will get to it right away. So, in the meantime, take care of yourselves, guys.